about who the hell who the hell developed this game because we still don't really uh we still don't have like a, a concrete answer as to uh as to where this game was developed where it was uh intended for for sale how many units got sold if the <laughs> did they even sell the cabinets did they just like mysteriously appear in arcades because you know who's going to uh what kind of ar arcade operator is going to uh Spend like a thousand thousand dollars or more from on fucking Uncle Pooh. So <laughs> it was a, this game was a gigantic uh, shit post. So this this game was developed not developed. This game was uh, licensed to a company called Diatech. Diatech is not. Uh, I don't know what the fuck Diatech is. What else they like actually uh, actually sold? This is the only the only arcade game there uh, they have credit for. I don't know like what else they did. This might have just been some some developer that was uh, trying to get into into the arcade craze a little late, right? As the uh, the arcade market was kind of uh, kind of sinking in 1983, or it's just a yeah, it's just a fake company that uh, that the developers. Uh, <laughs> Tried to uh, tried to shamefully hide their uh, hide their work under. Who knows? Who knows? But we uh, we do have some theories now as to like who made this game. Like it, like Diatech were not the uh, the programmers. It says developer there, but we'll put uh, put a question mark there because we also think that this game might have been developed by. Uh, Company called Hi uh, Hara Industries, which was were the developers behind a game from 1982 that got one bongo. Good old uh, Jack the Giant Killer. That was a uh, that was a piece of shit. I don't have a. <laughs> I didn't ready a picture of Jack the Giant Killer, but uh, uh, y'all might remember Jack the Giant Killer. That was a that was a pretty bad game. But. Uh, Somebody, uh, somebody theorized that uh, that those those developers left like little signs in their not little signs in their games, but there's little similarities in some of their games that uh, that you can see in uh, in Uncle Pooh in uh, in the next game we're going to cover Vampire, uh, a couple other games. There's one game, there's one game they allegedly allegedly released called uh, or developed called Lover Boy, which was a uh, we're not gonna look at it tonight because it's a maze game where uh, you? you're I'm a uh, you're a big Thank naked you? dude, not a big but man that's a good time to raid Dino. Holy crap! Thank you for the for the big old raid. Here come the rack attacks. Here come the Dino scoots. Yoko wins. <laughs> Gear strike. Thank you for the <laughs> for the 25 months. Not a big naked dude. It's just a naked dude. But yeah, Lover Boy is a game where you're a naked dude running Lover around a maze, wins. trying to uh, trying to capture women, and we're just gonna leave it at that. Also, thank you. Uh, all these Dino scoots have scrolled my screen up. Who, who said that? A two B. Thank you for the sixty seven months. How are you? I'm fine. Damn, I'm what? Here. Everybody raided me. Joe P. Real. Thank you for the raid. So let's get a let's get another another picture of uh, like I said we don't have any uh, we don't have any pictures of what the cabinet looks like for Uncle Pooh so uh, uh, yeah there he is there's there's Uncle Pooh but he's not actually pooping the the, the poo noise is the uh, he farts from his butthole and that his that is his means of attack in this game I think I've uh, I think I've talked enough let's. Uh, Let's get into it. Yeah, I had other theories about this game, but after after hearing about uh, uh, after hearing the Hara Industries theory, I'm totally on board with that. So let's uh, let's load up Uncle Pooh. Oh yeah, this game was uh, I think it was dumped around like 2010. I believe the board was found in Europe, so like maybe this was intended for. <laughs> to be sold in Europe. I don't know if anybody... I don't think anybody's ever seen a cabinet of this. I would love for somebody to come come forward with like any information. If anybody 
If anybody has seen this fucking game. So you are a, a, a bearded man escaping a flood while, while monsters try to chase you. And he can he can fart out his butt. The object of the game is to uh, is to find three diamonds. And uh oh, he's gonna die. Uncle Pooh is allergic to water. And that's the uh, that's the gist of Uncle Pooh. So with that being said, let's put in a credit and say it with me. Let's Uncle Pooh. Yes, the game... The game straight up tells you, let's Uncle Pooh. Uh, take that. <laughs> uh, uh. Gotta poo these blocks away. So if you pick up the money bag that gets rid of the blocks... And gives you points. Uh, take that. And if you hit press... If you hold down button 2, uh, he gets fast run power. And that drains your power at the bottom. Uh... Pooing uh, takes out one pal. Yeah, that says eight-way movement. He can he can run diagonally. <clears throat> I like how the uh, all the action stops every time he hits somebody with a with a poo blast. And every time you pick up a money bag, you get more power. Five more power, so you can actually you can actually try to farm points a little bit. Uh, can I get that? That last diamond! Yeah. Do, 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 do. This game is real! You can load it up in MAME! It's been in MAME since like 2010. See, I have to admit, like, one of my theories about this game was that, like, yeah, maybe somebody just, like, programmed this game as a joke. And, like, slipped it into MAME. Like, yeah, uh, we, we dumped this game called, uh, called, uh, 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 Uncle Pooh. Yeah, uh, that's the ticket, yeah. And nobody, uh, nobody could say, like, well, you can't, uh, you can't prove it's not real. Can you prove we made this game up? And so Uncle Pooh's just been this, uh, gigantic joke that's, that's been in MAME for a while. I <laughs> made this game for a Disney sitcom. Oh yeah, I didn't even... Oh, shit. Almost, hold on, let me pause for a second. I didn't even mention... This game runs on the, uh, the Jack the Giant Killer hardware, so that, uh, that lends extra credence to the theory that, uh, that Hara Industries company did actually develop this. Well, that guy is... So my question is, why are the animals, like, so determined to kill Uncle Pooh, considering they're about to, to die in a flood? Bonus stage. <laughs> the masturbating bear music from Conan O'Brien. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Oh, I'm not gonna get. The, uh, I'm not gonna get the perfect. Damn, they're good. You're stuck in the middle here. There we go. I forget, like, how much of a bonus you get if you get a perfect. He smells and they're trying to make him take a bath in the flood. Eh, yeah, makes sense. Maybe Uncle Pooh is Moses? And the flood has, like, hit the, uh... Has hit the earth and, like, these are the animals that, like, didn't get on the ark and they're, they're pissed at Uncle Pooh? That was my theory about the game's lore. Did I say Moses? Yeah, I meant Noah. <laughs> Sorry, my my brain has been pooified. Okay, I uh, couldn't get that money bag. <sighs> so if you don't get the money bag, all the blocks are still there. Oh. Uh, how many diamonds did I get? Like, oh shit, this is a maze. Yeah, I hope this is game number 1,000 at, at Galloping Ghost. I'm gonna keep saying that, like, every every Monday mystery s stream. Your Monday mystery game is none other than Uncle Pooh! 
Released by Die Attack in 1983. Outrageously rare game. One day. Oh god, I, that's not the last. Oh god, I'm running out of poo power. The flood is speeding up, I think. Okay, if anywhere's gonna get a an Uncle Pooh machine, it'll be Galloping Ghost, right? There we go. So I think you get a you get an extra life every thirty thousand, which is pretty generous. Um, I believe there's like kind of some problems with leeching in this game because uh, you can't really like earn an extra life like every every life. Like you can't just get into a into a loop of that. But um, from what I know, this game kind of has a kill screen. <laughs> Uh, apparently, like, the farthest anybody's gotten is round 19. And by then, the, w the water's just too fast that you can't really... You're not gonna survive. I believe the high score is held by, uh... <laughs> Galloping Ghost T20, uh... Multi-champion, uh, Zerst. He got, like, uh... 400,000 or something? Talk for kids, my impersonation. Uh, there's a lot of viewers because I got big old raids from uh, from Ty Tuesday and Dito, and they're also they're here. Oh, he got he got got, got killed by a snake. Yeah, there was a uh... <laughs> when this game got added to Mame. <laughs> uh... Uh, John Cunningham, aka Weehawk, uh, held a contest on the, the classic arcade gaming forums to give out a cash bounty to uh, to who could, whoever could get the highest score in Uncle Pooh uh, for that week. It was Uncle Pooh week, and I believe Zerst got the highest. You get more when they're flashing. Uh, good question. So like Shock Trooper Second Squad. Shit, I can't get that one. Uh, I need to get that diamond! No! The snakes are good. I'm not very good at Uncle Pooh. My other theory about this game is that, like, this is... This is basically Polybius. Like, like, there's no way this game was real. Like, some government operatives, like, made this game and just put it in an arcade to see if anybody would notice. And it was secretly, like, like an MK Ultra thing. That was my other theory about this game. But that's not proven. <laughs> Uncle Psyop, yeah. Because, I mean, nowadays, like, you can you can just release something on, on Steam called Uncle Pooh. And, you know, you might get, like, a little bit of attention for it. People might might share your, your YouTube video or tweet or whatever. But, you know, going back to 1983, like, we didn't have the internet. Like, you couldn't make a... You couldn't make a shitpost game like this and... Like... <laughs> You know, arcades have to spend, like, a lot of money to buy these cabinets, you know? And so you're you're asking arcade operators to spend, like, a thousand dollars? Maybe less? Maybe a little more? This this couldn't have gone for, like, a thousand dollars, right? As a, con as a conversion board, like, maybe it was, like, six hundred or seven hundred or whatever. Oh, man. Oh, this one's tough. You gotta have your poo ready in the right spot. Like that. What? I don't know these patterns at all. Ah, oh, they're good. So, I mean, the, uh, the arcade industry was, like, already, already in trouble in 1983, and, you know, you have a lot of games, like, vying for attention. And so how can, how can you sell a game called Uncle Pooh with a straight face? That's, that's always been, like, the, the most fascinating thing about, uh, about Uncle Pooh. This is just the same maze. But a different color. Yeah, I, I want to see what the cabinet looks like. I want to see what the uh, the marquee looks like. 
I will not be satisfied until we see what an actual Uncle Pooh cabinet was supposed to look like. There's no flyer or anything like that. Let's, surely they needed to make a flyer. You gotta get the word out about Uncle Pooh. You need the... You need people to see this horrible old man and his, uh... His gas problems. Uh-oh. Don't waste a lot of poo power here. Okay. Ah, that guy, that guy's fast. What do I think of the 8-bit guy's barcade? What? Who what? <laughs> I don't think I'm familiar with that. <laughs> Uncle Pooh, the sweet smell of profit. Yeah, that should have been the, the fucking catchphrase for it. That's a good one. Heidi approves too. Uh. Ah. Ah. I'm wasting too much poo power. Uh oh no! God, big hitbox. All right. I gotta get to ninety thousand at least. I need to get that one up. So you do kind of have to know the the mazes ahead of time, I think. Because, yeah, like, the first couple stages this game seems, like, pretty reasonable. And then you have all these stupid diagonal mazes, which you don't have much room to move. And they're just kind of, like, repeating this pattern. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting that. All of a sudden, the enemies are dangerous. There we go. Uh. Oh my god! That guy was on a mission! Bah! <laughs> that is such a good game over tune. Sign your initials for the top ten. Select your initial by the lever and set it by the shot button. Whoa, we got, uh... We got plain card suits. Cool. Shave and a... Wait. Shave and a haircut to two... <laughs> poo bits. Oh, they give me... They give me plenty of time, at least. Oop. Not PTQ. PTR. Whatever. So that... That top... The, the way that top ten list looks is, like, very, uh... Uh, very reminiscent of what the top ten list looked like in Jack the Giant Killer. And the next game, it also... It also kind of looks, uh, similar to that. And so that's, like, another reason everybody... Everybody kind of believes that Hara Industries... Not everybody, but a couple people believe that Hara Industries were the... The ones that developed this game licensed it to a company called Diatech. Diatech. However you want to pronounce it. And, uh, that is, that is the mystery of Uncle Pooh. Like we, like I said, we don't have a, <laughs> maybe one day we'll see what the cabinet looks like. Oh, Salte, thank you for the, for the 50 bits. I could play another credit of this. Also, I like how the insert coin, one coin, one play just gets like scrolled off the screen. It just gets, it gets drawn on the screen and then it's gone. <laughs> That's pretty good. I don't know. Do I need to play another credit of this? I think I will. Just because I want to say... Say it with me, everybody. Let's Uncle Pooh! Point zero. Look, this is... This is the time to play Uncle Pooh, right? <laughs> Man. But yeah, it, like there is the possibility that, that this game was like just a just a location test prototype that was found, which would explain why you know there's no there's no information about this game anywhere. And it's not by a very uh, like you know like Atari prototypes are usually usually have like more info 
what the cabinets looked like, because those some of those developers might still be around, they might have talked about them, might have shown pictures or whatever, and people might have seen them. Rated five. <laughs> Thank you, Let's Uncle Pooh, for the for the five five bongo bucks. <laughs> Oh, there's gonna be so many fives for this, aren't there? It should have been game number two. Yeah. Missed opportunity, went right down the toilet. But he's not actually, like, when people say poo, it's usually associated with, uh, you know, plop. With, uh, with poop. But in this case, the poo is just, uh, just a fart. But I, I, I will say this much, though. Oh, wait, I want to hear the jams. Challenging round, go! I need to get that perfect. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. No, I thought it, I thought it was up left. I gotta memorize this. Damn. Yeah, why was this never on Starcade? <laughs> gotta see if there's a perfect bonus. But yeah, I was I was gonna say like all things considered. Like, for something called Uncle Pooh, this is not, like, unplayable. <laughs> like, yeah, the mazes, these mazes get kind of annoying. But, like, compared to Jack the Giant Killer, this game is art. Like, this is actually, like, you know, it controls okay. You can fire your poo blast in eight directions. It's pretty easy to understand. There is sort of some satisfaction in hitting enemies with poo blasts. <laughs> you know, it's, it, it's kind of playable. Yeah. Who would have thought? Uh, where's the, uh, where's the diamond? Oh, that's not the last one. Running out of poo power. Ugh. Uncle Pooh's the game of the night. Ah! Let me look at what I had planned for night. Yeah, it might be game of the night. <laughs> There's not going to be very many high ratings on this. <laughs> ah yes, thank you for the quarter. Yeah, it wasn't the Chuba Olympics, but I think I think Zerst had reached the uh, uh, round 19, which I have, we believe to be the kill screen, like back in 2010. So I think Zerst was the first one. He was a, a pioneer in in poo technology. Is there a task of this? Not a task, it's a pass. Who assisted Superplay? Uh, what is this guy doing? Shit. He's got to be playing good defense. Uh, get in there. I'm running out of poo power. Oh god, I went the wrong way. I'm dead. Take a bath, idiot. Oh, I'm sure there's there's other games where like you know you fire stuff from <laughs> from your from the rear. There's there's the oil slick in in Spy Hunter, right? That's kind of a man. Was Spy Hunter inspired by Uncle Pooh. Tune into my new episode of Game Theory. <laughs> I don't think anybody at Midway saw this game. <laughs> ah. Okay. 
There we go. This guy. The snakes with their their little top hats, they look like uh they look they look like they're from that like that those Richard Scary books. I'm sure they ripped that off. The busy town where yeah. Richard Busy's scary town. Okay. Challenging round, go! Oh, that's too fast. <laughs> I like how the music slowed down there for a second. That was pretty good. Hmm. But yeah, the game has to stop the action every time you, you land a kill. They gotta give you that satisfaction. Yeah, I know it's the saber dance, but I'm always gonna think of it as the uh, the masturbating bear theme from Late Night with Conan O'Brien. All right, maybe I can get this one. Boom. They have a little halo that goes up, too. Like, going to heaven. I don't know, do you get more money for picking up the money bags when they're they're yellow? I don't think so. Boom. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, I'm just skipping everything. His shoes turn green when they're turbo. I don't know the significance of that. It turns slimy. Alright, this one. Whoa. What was that noise? I want to clear this stage at least. Get up there. Yeah, they go up, like, each time you pick one up for that stage, and then they reset on the next stage. Ah! Oh, this maze is, like, different. Oh, that's a diamond down there! I need that. Thought it was a money bag. Fuck it, I'm out of here. Nice! Oh, nice, Mega Drivers. A lot of good stuff in there. Oh, this is just the same stage. Different order, maybe? Damn it, I guessed wrong! You gotta memorize this. It's 11. I got another poo. Alright. Game is speeding up a little bit. Oh, this is a new maze, actually, I think. Oh, can't get around that. Maybe that one's not worth it. Ah, oh, I s dodged it. Also, they they, they kind of pop off when they get the kill too. Like, yeah, we killed that old man. Take that. I'm so proud. Alright. Damn. They need to buff the size of the, the poo box. Need some buffs in season two. Uh oh. I don't think I have time to get that. Ow! 
I popped off on me again. Yeah, this game is patternable up until round 19, and then... Doesn't seem like anybody can clear it. That's like the Uncle Pooh kill screen. The Pooh screen, if you will. That fucker. Oh, there's another one! Uh, come on! Yeah. Alright, they used up, like, all my power. Ah. Oh my god, they are so good at dodging! <coughs> I gotta angle the shots. Stay just kicking my ass. That's the ass I poo from. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd watch that. That'd be a good documentary. Who is the Billy Mitchell of Uncle Pooh? Ooh, this crown looks gross. It's like I'm in the sewer or something. Oh, it's one of these stages. Ugh. Oh, wow, they, they left, like, oil behind. Alright, this is, this is a problem. Take that. Take that! Ah, stupid Richard Busy Town. Okay. Charge, charge my poo power up a little bit. There we go. That's a dead end. Shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nobody's gonna falsely claim they're the, the king of poo. Oh, that's not the last one. Shit. The stage was so long, I thought that was the third diamond. Speeding up. There it is. Come on, yeah. <laughs> Why do they have halos coming out when they die? Were those were those monsters actually good? Are we the villain here? Is that the big uh, the big twist in Uncle Pooh? A Hideo Kojima game. That's deep. Oh, there's another one. Maybe that's another another common theme linking these uh, these horror industry games together because yeah, the next game, you are definitely not a good guy. <laughs> we'll just say that right now. So yeah, it is it is kinda Repeating itself a bit. They've only got so many mazes. Yeah, why not? Why not just release Uncle Pooh and Arcade Archives? Who's gonna Who's gonna come forward and claim, "Hey, you can't do that. That's our copyright. That's our property." Because then it's like, well, you just admitted that you made Uncle Pooh. You realize what you just did? That's like a That's like a Columbo twist right there. Uncle Pooh should be in the public domain, I think. Yeah, 
th this game isn't bad. That's th that's <laughs> the thing about all this. Like this game is not like unplayable garbage. Like we we have seen some garbage in this series. But this is like fairly playable. It's repetitive, but you know. What are you gonna do? Fuck, fuck. No, no, no. You'll never take me alive. He just melts. Man has never taken a bath in his life. Yeah, there were definitely popular games that played worse than this. Don't get me started. <laughs> Snake is popping off. He's so happy. He's got the little uh, uh, shift six eyes. So I mean, it's 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 got some character to it, even like you know the enemies are they're so happy when they murder you. That's kind of cool. I guess. <laughs> That was their plan all along, just to, you know, release a game with a with a title like this. That'll get your attention. But the question is, how many arcades? Poo bits. How many how many arcades can you get to buy this? All right, we have uh, we have pooed it up enough for tonight. <laughs> We gotta rank this bad boy. It is finally time to rank Uncle Pooh. So, as usual, I'm going to put a put a little poll in chat. Some people have some people have tried this game out for themselves. I know there's some uh, some poo die hard some poo hards in chat. <laughs> but if not, like, uh, how impressed were you by what you saw? Would you uh, would you want to try this out? You know, rate the game on a on a scale of one to five bongos. We'll give it uh, we'll give it a minute. I I expect there to be plenty of joke votes, and I will I will render my verdict when this is done. Yeah, it it, it is kind of unfortunate the mazes are get repeated a lot. They're basically the same basic designs, but, you know, Pac-Man did that, too. Pac-Man was literally the same maze for 255 stages. Damn, I thought there'd be... There'd be more joke votes. <laughs> there's a lot... Oh, wait, wait, no, there's a lot. <laughs> I, was, I was reading this the wrong way. Dang, it's all over the place. Well, that's like, that's a lot of fours and fives. That was, the fours and fives were almost like half of the votes. That's pretty impressive. I mean, I do, I do kind of have to wonder like how many, uh, how many of those fives were jokey, but. <laughs> I mean, I can, I could definitely see it being. <laughs> it, it, it was not gonna take over the arcade world, but mm, yeah, averages out to three point six. Well, personally, my rating, the uh, what I was gonna give this, like even before. Before I started the stream, because I have played this before, I was definitely giving it a three. It is, 
it has some problems. You know, like I said, the mazes kind of repetitive. I hate those. I hate those diagonal one-block mazes. But you know, there's there's just something to the whole the whole mystique of Uncle Pooh. Like, how? Why does this game exist? How does it exist? We may never have the. We never may. We may never have the full answer. We may. We may never find the developers behind this. I would. I would love to read an interview with them. But it is. Uh, it's an actual playable video game against all odds. Like, <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> how did that happen? So, good on you, Uncle Pooh. Good on you. Oh wait, I forgot to remove the. And I remove these for the next one, or else people are gonna be like, "Oh, you gave this game a three. All right. 